Dangerous Curves, the Terry O'Connell story, is a hell of a story of triumph and loss, and triumph again and again, etched across the canvas of the most deadly sport in the world. Dangerous Curves is a new benchmark, the new measure. It's a real life loaded with more drama than Yellowstone, more inspiration than Rocky and Rudy, and a hell of a lot more crashing, burning in politics than Days of Thunder or House of Cards. Dangerous Curves is real life, in real time, with real drama. It's the real deal. Now let's talk about getting far outside the box. Dangerous Curves is far outside the gender identity stereotype vision. Filmmakers producing gender identity stories in Hollywood and beyond all have their place, but never really seem to move the ball on grabbing the public's attention past those small niche audiences, failing to dispel old, tired stereotypes. The box is filled and sealed with those stories. Middle America, they are not connecting. Dangerous Curves is not one of those stories. It's 10,000 miles and moving 200 miles per hour away from that box. Its central character, Terry O'Connell, is a shapely 5'6", 120-pound woman who is constantly mistaken for Kelly Riley, Beth, on Yellowstone. She's an actual, real-life person, not some dramatic, off-the-charts creation of a Hollywood screenwriter's idea, throwing absurd, unbelievable status quo caricature concepts against the wall, hoping something outrageous will stick. That's not Terry. And as far as taking her seriously? Well, there's no room to not take her seriously. There have been many that tried to erase her, refused to give her credit, diligently worked to diminish her talent and career, but her record shatters their jealousy with over 525 wins and five national championships. Yes, she beat many current Hall of Fame members time and time again, doing so in cars she designed and built herself. She's a one-of-a-kind, world history badass. And before you say, what's the big deal here? Well, here's the ultimate shocker. Unlike any in American history, she started life as J.T. Hayes, born intersex, with both male and female biology and had been living as a male off and on for most of the 26 years he had been on Earth. When Terry O'Connell, female, shows up in Charlotte, she did so in total anonymity. No one had a clue she was the once badass male NASCAR driver J.T. Hayes, a five-time national champion. Even more shocking is, as a first in world history maker, when she made her historic racing comeback in spite of insurmountable odds, blacklisting, and bigotry, she became the first and only person to not only compete in professional racing as both a male and a beautiful female, but became a winner as both. A first in any professional sport. That, my friend, is a big damn deal. A surviving winner with a true grit who accomplished all of this with one arm tied behind her back. In spite of the prejudice, blacklisting, and extreme emotional distress driven by her gender identity and feminine persona in a man's world. Adding to her courage, she survived death-defying crashes, broke most of her bones, including her neck, twice, and raced hurt at least 50% of her career. But she never wavered. Only 90 days before she made her NASCAR Cup debut in the Goodrich 500, she was alone, hated, suicidal, broke, and without hope, 3,000 miles from home. She rose from the ashes, made her way home, and made world history. That's true down-in-the-dirt grit. That's damned unbelievable. That's an iconic comeback. Collectively, motorsports is the biggest sport in the world, bigger than the stick and ball sports combined, and Terry O'Connell is its most controversial and compelling athlete. She personifies the meaning of never giving up in the face of danger. Look, her origins defined her journey. She didn't land in West Hollywood, Soho, or South Beach. She landed smack in the middle of small town deep south, hardcore dirt track racing and extreme evangelical religion. Gossip, bigotry, and prejudice ruled the day. Her parents were blue-collar souls of the south. Their family dynamic took them all to the brink of collapse day in and day out for 20 years. Hometown scandals, guns ablazing car chases, daily death threats, and too many breakdowns to count. The fact they survived is a damn miracle, but it was time to restart her life, and boy did she. After years of soul searching, a devastating racing crash made her realize it was time to finally fix her life and get on with it. So finding untold courage, she walked away from a million dollar career. Terry restarted her compelling life after corrective surgery in total and anonymity back in the NASCAR community. There, with her natural beauty and warm, open personality, she became an insider and dated NASCAR VIPs, formed a partnership with a United States congressman. This congressman, in a scene out of House of Cards, ultimately stole her company, leaving her in financial ruin, lost and depressed, on the brink of suicide. Making things worse, within that same year, she was assaulted and raped by a well-known banking and motorsports executive 
who continued to rape and pillage her life by bragging to his cronies in motorsports that terry was his mistress virtually destroying her career and reputation all without terry's knowledge leaving her in a whirlwind constantly having to regroup most times at the hands of powerful men making matters worse someone leaked to the press her past life and all hell broke loose her first in world history story hit the national media including the new york times 2020 larry king and entertainment tonight after being outed by someone she confided in in charlotte north carolina right in the middle of the bible belt in nascar the drama ramped up even more one second she was a vip and beloved the next she was in the middle of motorsports biggest scandal no one was catching her back in the white hot shock and anger that rushed through charlotte and nascar she had to go into hiding to protect her safety motorsports executives at the highest level tried to destroy her comeback in racing they threatened journalists team owners and sponsors warning them that if they helped terry it would be bad for their careers no one would hire her her landlord evicted her morning shock jocks had field day in and out and the congressman knowing he had stolen her company had the press on her covering his dirty tracks by turning the national gop public relations team loose trying to disparage her character she had no idea if she could survive this devastating whirlwind by the way the congressman was recently indicted for bribery and corruption while serving as gop chair of north carolina the story told in dangerous curves by terry o'connell has been called a great american story and clearly the cinematic experience based on her book will follow suit it's time to make a movie, so let's get Dangerous Curves to the screen. We have our team in place and ready to go. From digital pioneer George Johnson and his Emmy, Grammy, and Visual Effects award-winning team at Hollywood's Mammoth Vision, to all of the crew and staff needed to create this amazing and one-of-a-kind production. The missing link now is to bring in a top-flight director, finance partners, and of course, just the right team of actors. Finding a home for this project shouldn't find much resistance. In the beginning, we first looked at doing a feature film, and that's still on the table. However, to be true to this extraordinary story in all of the chapters over 30 years, we're now leaning on producing a limited series, probably six to eight episodes. If Terry had never gone racing, even though being born into a racing legacy, she would have been an incredible artist, likely a model in her teens and best-selling author running a bookstore and art studio in her hometown. Without her biological gender identity issues boxing her in, she could have been a five-time Indy 500 winner and perhaps in every motorsports hall of fame in America. Her talent and family backing would have driven her to the top. But she was born as both and stands before you today finally as one virtually accomplishing all those life experiences in spite of extraordinary odds. Truly an amazing and compelling life. The buzz around Hollywood is Dangerous Curves is being mentioned as the next compelling real life story. It will capture a broad and diverse fan base, giving emotional audiences around the world something memorable in every scene. Award-winning Mammoth Vision teams with Cinema Vites LLC to produce Dangerous Curves, the Terry O'Connell story. Buckle up, Buttercup. Dangerous curves is just around the bend.